anybody home? Hello? Anyone here? I uh, would like to speak to the mother of the house. The woman of the house? Hello? Mama, is that you? You're wearing the leather jacket again. Why? Yes, I'm back with my leather jacket. I have to come clean with you about something. It's all about who I am. I'm sorry to say, but I... I know, you're trying to keep a secret and you don't want to tell me why you're dressing like this or talking like that. Excuse me, what is going on? Why is mama wearing that? It's cute, but... Yeah, it's not her style. Exactly. This is something your mother wouldn't wear because I am not your mother, unfortunately, I don't think. I mean, I could be someone's mother. What do you mean? Ooh, woman, look at you. You're looking so good today. You remind me of when we first met. Kiss me right square on the lips. No. Come on, sweetie, I haven't seen you all day. No, get off of me, please. Ugh. What are you talking about? Just one quick kiss, please. And you smell good, too. I miss you so much today. I worked hard and I'm ready for supper. What did you cook? Please get out of my face. Just one kiss. We might as well right here, right now. Oh my gosh, get off of me. No. That was a good kiss. Smelling good, looking good. Why are y'all dressed up today? Hmm. More kisses, please. Please get off of me. This is embarrassing. Hmm, there's something that you're doing to me that's driving me wild. Please get off of me. Oh, back off. Get off. Mmm, sugar, you're so irresistible today. I don't know what it is. What are y'all looking at? You act like you never seen me and your mama kiss before. So, darling, why are y'all dressed up? Are we going somewhere? Is there something that I forgot to get ready for? No, um, I dress like this all the time. Oh, uh, no, you don't. Uh, I do. I have to tell you something. Sweetie, exactly what is it that you need to say? You're looking good smelling good so obviously we're going somewhere or we're gonna do a little something something no really i have to tell you something i'm not your wife so please don't kiss me again it's just kind of awkward what do you mean you're not my wife we've been married for years i know that i look like her but i'm not her so this is weird um yes i'm the mother to someone here oh i get it this is some naughty role play Carter, who are you kissing on? Oh my goodness, oh my Carter! Oh, what? What's going what? on? You look just like me. You, oh, you, I didn't know. Oh, back up, Carter. I'll take care of this. What she's not gonna do Ouch. is steal my man no, and stop. disrespect me right in front of my house. No. Move out of the way, Carter. I need to you beat her stop. up. I'm gonna smack you upside the head. Ouch. There you go. Ouch. Okay, it's your turn Ouch. now, Missy. Ouch. It's your turn. No. no. Oh, oh my God. Get off of no, me. don't come in my house. Carter, back up. Oh, I told Lord. you. Quit. I gotta take no. care of my business. Back stop. up. No. No, 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 no. Stop. No, no. Come on now. No, oh, Carter, no, no, let no, me no, 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 no. You hit me? Yes, and I'll do it again. No, no. I need to talk to you. This is very serious. Let's not fight. And don't touch my man and get away from my children. Oh, one of these kids are mine. What? Seriously, back up. Back up. Not before I beat the stew out of you. Carter, let me at her. Carter. I don't know what's going on, but no more fighting. We need to just talk this out. Um, excuse me, but I make the rules around here. I've watched these children and taken care of you. And you have the nerve to kiss an imposter? Oh, shame on you, Carter. And I'm going to beat her up good i'm going to take her out might as well give me a weapon now so i can get it done quickly all right 
who do you think you are? You can't just roll up in my house and take my family, my face, my man. You can't do it. And none of these children are yours. I'm going to bait you like oh, you stole something. No, stop. No, ow, stop. Ow, no, ow, I said no fighting. No, no. Get off of me. Stop. Oh. Carter let me at her. Stop it, Carter. Thanks, Carter. Stop fighting. Oh, oh my gosh. Maybe you should leave. Yeah, but I'm here because I have serious business, right? I just came here because I have a child here. And I'm sorry, I know that sounds crazy, but someone kidnapped my daughter. Excuse me, did you say that you have a child here? We adopted these children. We did everything the right way. Not with my child. We have all the paperwork and we went through lawyers. They're all our children. Hey y'all, your mama let us in. How y'all doing today? Hmm, so you had a baby? That's cool. Where's Vincent? Have you seen him? Is he the daddy? Anyways, we came here to share some good news with y'all. We got our new articulated bodies from the gender puberty fairy i'm not really sure what you're supposed to call her but yeah that's what she does yeah we got our bodies but how are you doing is everything okay with the baby is vincent helping out can i see the baby oh look at her she's so cute the baby is fine and vincent disappeared what he disappeared that sucks so um are you gonna return to school anytime soon well i had the baby and yes i'm going back to school probably in two weeks yeah she has to have time to heal and everything but she's fine yeah i'm okay and vincent i'm sure he'll show up eventually we love each other and I don't know what's going on, but I trust him. We're in love. Yeah, when I see him, I'm going to beat him up for not being around right now. I'm going to hurt him because this baby needs him. And I'm doing everything for the baby that Vincent should be doing. So it's just not fair to this baby. The baby needs a father. Oh, let me get her now. Thanks for helping out sis yeah it's all right i mean she looks like him to me and she reminds me of him a lot so it helps out i guess but um i think it's all due to his mother his mother so you think his mom is just trying to stop him from seeing the baby that's crazy and selfish yeah that's mad selfish anyhow's um When's your sweet 16 body change birthday party? Do you know when you might be getting your bodies? I'm sorry that we didn't invite you to our birthday party. It's cool. It's fine. Um, yeah, we were under a lot of stress and pressure with everything, so we couldn't go anyways. But no, um, our birthday is like in two weeks. So hopefully we'll get new bodies, new articulated bodies. I hope to just at least have arm joints. And, um, I don't know, maybe look like my mom more. Well, yeah, it would help with everything because it's hard to, like, really maneuver right now with a baby. And, uh, I've always dreamed of having joints. So, you never know. Hopefully, everything goes well with that. But, um, I've been so busy with a baby, so I haven't really been thinking about our birthday. That's understandable. Listen. Our mom bribed the gender fairy. I know it sounds crazy, but she made sure that we got our joints. And I requested to be kind of thick, you know, curvaceous. And my sister wanted to be thin. Really? You can do that? You can pay money or gifts to the puberty fairy for what you want? Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. So, I mean, I think it's cool because you're twins and you look the same, but you don't since you have different body shapes. Yeah, exactly. I didn't really want to look like my twin that much as an adult. 
We have identical faces, so we needed something that would set us apart. And we were thinking, wow, if our bodies were different, maybe people wouldn't get us confused or mistaken for one another. I really wanted to have curves and be just like my favorite celebrity. So I also knew that my boyfriend prefers curves. This worked out perfectly for the both of us because I didn't want curves. I also don't really care what my boyfriend wants. The worst part about all of this is the fact that our mom did have to pay about $5,000, but it's worth it. I mean, the morning of our birthday, we woke up and our mom had to take us shopping for clothes, like a new wardrobe. It was great. I mean, the best day ever. So I just want to give you the information to help you out because I see that you guys had a very tough year and you deserve like the best bodies ever. So there's no guessing and it's a sure thing. I know that your parents have a lot of money, so money shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, just take her email address and everything will be fine. Or have your mom to call our mom, okay? Yeah, but um, we're going to go shopping and we were wondering if you wanted to come with us. But I see that you're busy with a baby and we're meeting our boyfriends at the mall. so. Maybe it's not the best time for you to come as well, you know, with the baby and you'll be distracted. Yeah, that's true. Well, once we get our bodies, we'll definitely go shopping for a new wardrobe with you. I'm excited about that. Hopefully we get new bodies. Sometimes she doesn't even give new bodies. She just leaves a note. We really need her contact information because... I would die if we don't get new articulated bodies. Yeah, we were worried about just getting unarticulated bodies, like the stiff ones. I was really stressed out about that. So I told my mom and she made some phone calls and somehow ended up with the contact information for the puberty slash gender fairy. She normally doesn't give curvy bodies. So I was really lucky to get one. Yeah, I don't know why she doesn't well barbie barbie christ doesn't really believe in curves i mean like maybe large breasts but not like hips but lately they've been trying new things so i'm excited that i've got one of the rare curvy bodies yeah you look good and i'm happy with my body as well so it all worked out I was kind of worried that she was going to be angry about our mom paying her for her services. Anyhow, $5,000 is a great price for articulation for two people. I hear that people pay like thousands of dollars to get their articulation surgeries. So we got a pretty good deal. I agree. And it was pain free. Exactly. But we're going to be very late for our dates. So yeah, let's get going and I hope that oh, they have gifts for us as they normally do yeah before you go please give us the contact information I really don't know if our mom would want to help us right now she's very busy with work and the divorce oh sure uh yeah you know what text me later and um I'll get it for you from my mom I don't even have it myself so yeah just don't forget to contact us at least a week before your birthday. Oh, we're gonna contact you tonight. I'm excited. And if Vincent hears about me getting a new body, he'll be back in no time.